There's all the constant change within the hospitality industry right now. I see the state of the loyalty and incentive industry kind of been tied in certain ways, tied into that as well. Um, I think currently, uh, from an economic standpoint, as a buyer, for lack of a better word, I think it's a great market for the incentive market right now. I think there's opportunities because of the economic changes or what have you here in the United States to do some things that you know were kind of taken off the table a few years ago, especially in 2008 and thereabouts. So I see it coming full circle now. I see doing larger incentive meetings. I see my internal clients asking to do things a little bit more outside of the box now in terms of incentives. We did a program with my prior company years ago in Rome, and this is the thing that stands out to me the most. We did a, uh, a Vatican tour, and so we went front of the line and we did a personalized tour of the Vatican, and that was amazing. I mean, people really, really felt very special, you know, and of course we tied in the, um, the gift with that as well, and so, you know, it was pretty special. Um, a lot of the consolidation right now within the industry, a lot of the third parties now are consolidating, merging, acquiring different companies, making fewer companies now from the planner perspective or the buyer perspective to go to in certain markets. Um, obviously, the economy, and not only just the economy here in the United States, but also globally. What's happening in the UK now, especially I'm working for a global company, will affect us you know, in that respect. So therefore, when I come to the table, and we're looking at incentives or programs for our clients or brokers that are pretty um, more robust in business meetings. We don't always call them incentives. I'm finding like, oh, wait a minute, let's start thinking about this. You know, how is the dollar gonna be affected in this regard? How is any economic shifts globally gonna affect our bottom line?